Revenant, zone lost. Secure zone. Alright guys, and welcome to Doom. <laughs> this is the beta, multiplayer only in the beta. Uh, team Deathmatch and another one called Warpath. And that's the one we're going to show you today. Hopefully hopefully it'll be a good game. Um, it's basically there's a moving control area. It moves around the map and there's certain arrows on the map that show you where to, to go. Um, this map we're going on to is called Infernal. There are, there are only, I believe, two, two maps, two game modes in the beta and it's multiplayer only. I'm, I'm looking forward to the campaign uh, but here we are. Yeah there's a few things you can do. I'll probably at the end of the game show you a little bit about the customization um, but I'll show you at the end exactly how how you can customize the look. Obviously my, my rather stunning looking uh, character there has got some very shiny armor and very interesting Warpath. Alright, so in this screen you get to pick your loadout. You can, you can create your own custom loadouts and um, I've picked to, yeah, it's entirely up to you what you put in them. You only get two weapons, two guns. Three, two, one. Um, the first thing you want to do is grab some of these shields that somebody else took. Brilliant. So yeah, green green icons are your shielding. Absolutely essential. First blood. And I don't, did we get anyone? Oh yeah, okay, we're up here. There we go. Now I get some shields. All oh, right, where did you go? I got gotcha. you. And he's gone. All right, so your health. Right, let's talk about that first. Um, you only get lost a full bar. The blue icons around the map are health. The yellow crates are the uh, ammo. Uh, so you you will run out of ammo a lot. And the greens are your shielding. It's important to have as much of all of it as you possibly can and keep moving, especially like that where the guy was coming up behind me lost the lead capturing zone and uh, yeah, I, luckily luckily I turned him though, so we got away with it um, there's a full, I think this is a full shield up oh no, it's alright, it's just a big one okay, doing well, right <laughs> Got a couple of kills under the belt. Just keep going for those shield upgrades and keep moving. Incoming demon rune. Losing zone. Demon rune spawn. High revenant spawn. Zone lost. Okay, okay. Managed to get a kill there, but got another guy coming up behind. Capturing zone. My buddy here. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. <laughs> Reign of Terror is at an end. All right, let's get back in the game. So, on, upon respawn, you get these little uh, perks. I, I, I will find out what they're called. Um, and they're sort of additional skills that you can use in the game. So, at the moment, this will give me... Hello? Oh, that's all right. He's one of my, he's one of my buddies. Right. Zone Power-ups. I think that was a power up that I just ran through. Oh god, right. Getting shot. All he's done is take my shields down though, which isn't so bad. So this uh right, let's go and try and capture the zone now, although Yeah. The demon is dead. Oh god, hello. And he's gone. We lost the lead. We're not having that. Hack module expired. Okay, I see you. I see you. So yeah, with the uh, rocket launcher, once you fire it, you can detonate it <laughs> just like that. Uh, while it's in mid-flight, and that's really useful because you overshoot, you can just detonate it as you think it's actually hitting your enemy. Really, really worth doing. Um, and I, it's actually something I wish I'd remembered to do a lot more often. Right, I need to get some shielding back. That's, 
certain parts of the map they they will regenerate these shields they'll be on a timer um, and they do come back and they regenerate pretty often so it's quite I'd say it's quite easy oh wow absolutely outnumbered that's one thing with this game right you you come across two guys they're both firing at you at the same time you are going to die uh, there is only one thing you can do uh, is maybe get one kill out of it um, but it is very unlikely to be honest Where were you? Like that. Okay. 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 <laughs> they ganged up on me. So rude. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 no. A little rocket battle there. Right, so vital signs. This perk will just show me the health, which is why I could see how much more um, I had to do to kill that guy at the end. Now we've got a, we've got our our demon all the way over there. There he is. He's down. So it's up to us to try and pick up the demon, which I have just become. Now it's on a timer, so it won't last long. But I can get a couple of kills out of it while. I'm here. Here we go. I see. I see you. That's another one. Down. No, it's not. Where the hell did he go? I think he's committed suicide. Probably for the best. Okay. Just waiting for them to respawn and come back and get us. Oh, nearly got, nearly got him. That's cool. Vital signs activated. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much. This game is frenzied. Absolutely. Absolutely insane. Love it, though. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, this bit in the multiplayer, I can't wait to play the campaign. Um, but hopefully you've got an idea of this game mode. This moving target, this sort of moving wall of blueness right now. And if I can get a melee kill on him... Oh, damn it. Nearly, 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 nearly. Vital signs activated. I want to show you that because it, it's a little thing. It comes up and it says glorious and it's it feels good and all. Oh, wow, lightning gun. That's pretty, pretty much kills me every time. I suppose I should just get out of the way. Fifty points remaining. Oh, desperate to do it. There we go. All right, we got one. We got one. A melee kill. And a comeback. Glorious. A glorious comeback, some would say. So glorious is just, uh, you know, getting that melee kill. That's what you get. You get a little uh, a medal at the end of the game for it. All right, where are you? I saw you. Just trying to take over. Not having it. Oh, and another one. Beautiful. Oh. Alright, I gotta get out of here and get some health or I'm gonna die. So that's that is one of the things that I think you just have to do. You've got to learn to retreat. Let your teammates make it. You're gonna be no good to them if you just sit there and die. You need that protection. So go get it. And come back into the fight. Remember, every death of yours goes against the whole team, so yeah, that's that's kinda of why I'm saying it. Capturing zone. Secure zone. I can get him again. Oh, you're kidding me. How much? Man. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to win anyway. <laughs> All right. We won. Cool. All right. That was a pretty good game. Um, so there you go. So what I'll do at the end of this, um, once I've just shown you. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I wasn't even in the top three of my team. <laughs> or oh, top two of my team. Uh, so the top three scorers, which is quite nice. You can be in that sort of that display if you the losing side. Uh, what did I get? Nine kills. Two as the demon. Not too bad. Not that great, but I'm not exactly upset about it. Um, I'm just getting the, the feel for the game. It is, it's a lot of fun. So yes, once you finish, you get some uh, rewards. Uh, a load of XP. I think we'll just level up. Yep, perfect. Um, and look, I've got a shepherd armor piece. Some glossy colors. So there's colors and customization things you can do to the armor. That's what I'm going to show you now. Um, and a whole load more XP. 
Brilliant. Okay, um, very close to level 10, actually. So this shows you your items that you've unlocked. So I've got a few taunts. Those are quite cool. Uh, some awards. These are just sort of medals for what you've done uh, and how you did it. And there's quite a few in that game. That's quite good. Um, challenges. Yes, there are challenges to go. So the number of times you transform into a demon, for example. That's the third one from the top. And it's, you get extra additional XP, so it's all this stuff to aim for to try and help you level up as fast as possible, which is, after all, what we all want to do. So let me back out of this lobby here, and I'll show you um, a little bit more that I've found out. So you've, you've got your, you can create your own loadouts after you've got to a certain level. Here, the third level unlocks at 12. I think this unlocked at 3 or 4. I can't remember. Um, but the I played a couple of games. Not many, but I played a few. Um, about five, I think. Only about five. Um, plasma rifle, super shotgun, they're basically uh, loads of different weapons. They are pretty basic in, in that you, you you can't, you know, upgrade them, you can't put attachments on them, no under barrel stuff. It is it is just, you get that weapon, you learn how to use it and make the best of it. And yeah, they're all very different. A heavy assault rifle, you've got a plasma rifle, a rocket launcher, which you saw me using just then. Super shotgun, which is pretty damn useful, but its reload time is terrible, as you'd imagine. It's a double barrel, and it fires both barrels at the same time. Uh, a vortex rifle, which I've yet to use, but it's a more of a long distance, a long range, um, a long range weapon. But some of these have second mode, and that's what the L2 button is, um, the the weapon mod. So the lightning gun, for example, it creates an electric field um, when you hit the surface that damages multiple targets. So it just sort of puts a big blob on the ground, basically, and uh, it hurts people. Um, but the primary fire is is just uh, you know a normal sort of energy bullet, normal energy bullet like you come across every day. Yeah, of course. Um, all this static rifle, I haven't unlocked that yet. I'm just about to because I think I was just one pixel away from level nine. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that will do. Um, but yeah, there you go. So explore these uh, the weapons. That, yeah, oh actually, I should show you. Um, you can customize how they look as well. We'll come back to that. So customization. Um, customize your character into the armor. There are they break the armor down into obviously various components, and in your helmets, you could pick any one of these different types of helmets. Let me zoom in for you so you can see what they actually look like. The colors I'll come to in a minute, but these look pretty cool, right? I like the look of the the hawk. It's very very Halo, isn't it? Really. Um, also, look Jagger. I think it's pretty nice. But I've just unlocked the ASP, so we will pick that. Why not? Um, torso. Let's zoom back out. Um, okay, it looks like I just unlocked Shepherd. Is that Shepherd? So it's slightly slightly different to the Valhunt, uh, but it looks. In all honesty, it looks very much the same. I'll stick with the diamond back, though. It looks pretty good. So, as you can see, you've got different um, parts of your armor that you can upgrade. Um, the right arm will be different to your left arm. Um, and the colors. Right, let's come to the colors. Now, this uh, across the top there, you can switch between a matte color, with which I've only got one. Lime. Yes. Uh, glossy, yep, yeah, makes it a little more shiny, much nicer, nicer to look at, I suppose. Uh, but of course, there's the metallic, and I quite like the look of these metallic colours. Um, you can have them all. You can have your whole armour all one colour if you like, um, or you can mix it up. You've got m multiple parts of the armour. Each different sort of uh, style of your armour will will break out the colours into different sections. Um, but I'm just just showing you what I've done to it, just so you get an idea. And actually, within each one, you can have a level of intensity if you want it to be really shiny uh, then you can go into more and you can see roughly what that does um, or, or less more or less less is more maybe I don't know weathering um, now that's just an effect you can add to your um, to your to your color if you want it to look brand spanking shiny brand new then you put it take it on onto zero if you want to make your purple look a little bit worn a little bit battered bruised like a hardened warrior then then you want to increase that um, you can do that on overall effect for your entire armor, or just individually on those um, particular pieces. Um, where you do it overall is is down here, so you can make it look really dirty. Uh, as you can see, you've got just it's just filthy, isn't it? So that's just it's almost in a way uh, a, another way of camouflaging your your yourself, and you can make it look scratched up and battered. So something fully filthy and uh, fully scratched looks like that. Pretty nasty. Yeah, I'm not into dirt, so uh, we'll take it off, make it look fairly decent. 
There we go. So patterns, yeah, okay, you've got um, various patterns you can pick. Like you can see I've got this sort of honeycomb pattern on mine uh, and the various colours of it. Um, do what you want with it, really. I mean, <sighs> bothered. Not that bothered. It's it's just nice colouring to have and you can, you can change the style. Everybody's going to end up with... It's only a fixed number of things you can do, but you know, hey, that's what I've done. This is this is what I've looked. This is what I looked like, basically. Um, wow, cast the characters disappeared. Can't see him. Uh, customize the weapons. It's exactly the same thing, um, and as you can see, I've customized all of mine. Um, but you get different as you go through the game. You unlock different uh, patterns, different colors, different things you can do. Um, and in all honesty, it's all it's all nice and all. Um, but I tend to just kind of random randomize the the look. So if, there you go. That's a randomized. That's the square button at the bottom, by the way. Randomized uh, paint job on my gun. And and to be honest, some of these can look hideous. I'll try and find a, a nasty. I mean, look, these are just pretty horrible. Pretty horrible indeed. Oh, I mean, it's it's not bad, but I just I just wouldn't go out with a scene like that. <laughs> you know. That's not so bad, but yeah, as you can see, it can become pretty horrid. There's a handprint um, paint job or effect or a pattern, sorry, on that one. But I quite like the look, look of that one. That's pretty good. And then, of course, you can change the uh, the paint weapon colors, whatever, as well. So into taunts, as you can see, we've got the typical carton dance. You can do these in the game. I didn't actually show you any of that. Um, or you can <laughs> I'll just show you the uh, various taunts you can use. Hold on. Skeet, nice, and of course, as you unlock more of them, um, you can go and pick more. We've got, we got a nope. What have we got? A kiss to the crowd. Make it rain. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Celebration. Horns metal, or can you feel that? I think that is superb. Can you feel that? <laughs> well, there you go. That's, that's probably the funniest thing I've seen in the game so far. Uh, the oh yeah, there's one more thing. The light color. You have a light attached. Um, sometimes it's just strips, bands, whatever. But you can change the color of that. The pink. The pink looks pretty tasty there, doesn't it? Not really. Anyway, that's the customization and the loadout changes I've shown you. The hack modules. Now these are these are the things that in between each uh, death. Sorry, in between each life, I should say. When you die, you can select uh, one of these hack modules to respawn with. Um, and they're just a little, it's a little assistance, really, for your next uh, moment in the game. Um, so you can mark the last person that killed you for additional XP. So in this case, I want to pick um, uh, this this one here. It gives me 75 XP for each kill in addition um, afterwards. So I've got, you've got other hacks. This Power Seeker, what have I got there? Power Seeker. So let's stick that on. Track the nearest power up or power armor for 120 seconds. That will show me clearly on the map where the next best item I can go and get is like the demon or like a power weapon which do spawn randomly in the game. I've yet to actually find one and use it but they're there. So um, and they will also rotate between A, B, C and as you, as you see it, it lasts for 60 seconds. If you don't last for 60 seconds in the game you get shot you know 10 seconds in it will just uh, respawn you with the same hack module but for 50 seconds this time so you've already used some of it up in your previous life and as they wear down um, you'll work your way through these in order um, and it will auto do that as long as you've got these selected so there you go guys that's the doom the beta hopefully just giving you a quick overview a quick taster of what there is um, and uh, I, I'm really enjoying it it's a lot of fun there are only two game modes as I said team deathmatch and warpath and random which is yeah you, you guessed it so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, showed you a little bit more about the game. All the best, guys. Take care. Hope you enjoy it. Go get the beta if you get the chance. I'm sure there's more than one way to do it. And uh, maybe see you online. All the best. Good night, guys. Oh, yes.